Ah, <sighs> Stashi. Hey! I've been wanting you to come to my party so we can hang out and do some reading, and you finally made it! I made it! Yeah. <laughs> Where the DJ at? Wait, but we got some other people in my party. Oh, okay. Do you know who they are? No. I don't see anybody. Stasha, you don't see them? No. They're watching us. It's a virtual party? A black ah! party? You can see them, kid. <laughs> Hi, my baby. I miss you guys so much. Listen, last time, like, yo, my first, like, half of the block party, yeah. they all were asking for, like, oh, is Stashi coming to the party? Is Stashi coming to the party? And I'm like, no, Stashi's not coming to the party, but you at the party. So it feels so good to have you here, though. I'm so glad to be at the party with our babies. Mm. Kingdom kids, make them noise. <laughs> I really am happy to be here. I missed you guys so much. Man, <sighs> I'm so excited because, um, you know, we get to talk about this story. What you know, story? My block party, we always do like sleepovers. Yeah. So I'm I'm so happy that you have a chance to actually hear the story that I've been talking about for the last couple of weeks about friends. Okay, well is it boring? Because um, I'm not with it. It's not boring, I mean, if encouraging you is boring, I mean... What's encouraging? What's that? I mean, encouraging means to like supporting somebody else, okay. helping somebody else. Okay. And you know, the story is pretty dope. I mean, I've, I've never really saw this person this way, mm -hmm. but man, the story that we're getting ready to talk about is like so dope. So that's why I really wanted to invite you here because we got to talk about it. I'm excited. Tell me, tell me, tell me more so, about this. So how important are friends for you? Well, Friends mean a lot to me. Why? Because sometimes you just need to hear from a friend to say, hey girl, how you doing? Or hey boy, or hey man, what's up? Or sometimes you need friends when you're feeling sad and you need to pick me up. Yeah. Or sometimes you just need friends when you feel alone. Now, how many friends do you have? Um, Am I your only friend? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm your only friend, right? Um, no. <laughs> You're not my only friend. I thought I was your only friend. No, I love you more than a friend. You're like my twin brother. Oh, wait, twin? Is that like left hand, right hand? Yeah, let me see you put up your left hand. Let me see you put up your right hand. Both hands. We're totally twins. <laughs> But yeah. you know what? That's why you are a friend like me. Yeah. And there's a story in the Bible mm -hmm. that we're gonna talk about here because these two friends that we're going to talk about, they okay. really have a strong meaning on what it really means to support each other and to encourage each other. Well, I'm excited. Are you really? I really am excited because it might even help me in my friendships. And to hear that it's in the Bible, I really wanna hear about it. Now, do you have your Bible with you? Ah, uh, no. <sighs> Don't worry, because I'm here to encourage you. And I'm here to encourage you. And I'm here to encourage you. And I'm here to encourage you. <laughs> and I'm here to encourage you. Because it's time that we understand and read about Elijah and Elisha. So did you say Elijah and Elisha? Yes, Elijah and Elisha. So Elijah. Mm hmm and Elisha. Yes. Those are two different people. Yes. Okay. So you have Elijah, E-L-I-J-A-H, uh -huh. and then you have Elisha, E-L-I-S-H-A. Okay, Elijah, Elisha. Yes. Elijah, Elisha. Yes. Got it. Now, do you know how important it is to treat others like you want to be treated? I really do know how important that is. How important? It's very important, and in my mind, I always like to say, I want to treat others better than I treat myself mm. because it's so important to just go the extra mile for people and you know that's what i love about our friendship yeah like because we treat each other like we have respect for each other yeah and you know even through this pandemic mm -hmm. i'm so happy to invite you over six feet apart here at my party dj play that so get into it time myself 
DJ play my song. Come to DJ play my song. Kids, yeah. I'm sitting here with Mr. I, I, yeah, you know, tomatoes. It's singular. Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> But this is what I love about our friendship, that we're able to encourage one another. Right. And, you know, there was somebody named Elijah. Okay. And in First and Second Kings, mm -hmm. you have Elisha who is a prophet. Okay. Elijah is a prophet that is chosen by God. And at that time, Elijah was going through a phase in his life where God was just having him move around a lot of places. But God knew that Elijah needed a friend. And you know what happens? So what happens in the story is Elijah on his way, he thought he goes into this place where it's like a farm. Wow. And in the farm, he sees somebody working extremely hard. I mean, sweating, I mean, uh, uh, throwing things around. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, he's on this thing called a mule. A mule? A mule. Is that like a donkey? That is like a donkey. Are they cousins? Well, you talking about from Shrek? <laughs> yes, I love Donkey from Shrek. I mean, at this time, what happened with Elijah is he meets someone named Elisha. Okay. And this is where I want to break down the story because if you have your Bible with you, kids, I want you to open up your Bibles or maybe your tablet or your phone. Yeah. Or what else could they have? Their mom's phone? Their mom's phone? Or what their else? mom's Bible, or their dad's Bible, or grandma's Bible, or their auntie's Bible, and ask them to take them to it to find it. Because I want to read the story real quick about Elijah and Elisha, because okay. how important their story, how, the, how important their story uh, um, is mm -hmm. as far as, you know, supporting each other, okay. encouraging each other. Because even through this time, I mean, can you imagine how many kids right now are doing virtual school. And, and missing their friends. And missing their and friends. And feeling alone. And feeling out of place. And feeling like they have no one to talk to because their parents keep fussing at them because they don't have anything else to do. And they need their friends. Hey friend, it's okay. I'm letting you know it's okay. Thank you because I oh, know how you feel. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. Yeah. But you know what? God, even through all what friends go through, it's amazing how God gives Elisha, someone like Elijah, to support wow. and to care for each other. Wow. So let's look at this story because it says here, so Elisha became Elijah's companion. Okay. He was he was there watching and learning everything that he could from Elijah. And what's interesting about this story is you have at this time where um, Elijah, mm -hmm. right? It says Elijah did an amazing, amazing things through God's power. Wow. So here is Elijah being used by God, who is a prophet, and Elisha has an opportunity to see these things. Okay. And what do they do? They travel from city to city to city, speaking God's word, and Elisha's able to see that. Can you imagine? So Elisha. Mm-hmm didn't know Elijah no. until Elijah saw Elisha yes. in the barn. In the barn. And they became friends. They became friends. So they were companions that became friends and they had to become friends because you said Elisha mm -hmm. traveled with Elijah yes. to different cities. To different cities. Now, you know what's interesting? When Elijah mm -hmm. called Elisha to follow him mm -hmm. as they were friends, yeah. Elisha did something very interesting, friend. What did he do? Elisha, what he did was he cut up some food, made some food, and for the people that was living where he was living, he fed them before he left. What kind of food? Some oxtail. Oxtail! Some oxtail! You know how much some oxtails cost? Whoa. It's about 10 to $15 a plate. Listen. Them oxtail ain't cheap. Show not. But it shows Elisha character. Oh, and yeah. And this is why it's important when God chooses your friends. Wow. Because it shows that your friends should always, always have the same heart as God. Can you imagine giving away your best food, your favorite food that you like to eat? And he fed, who did he feed? And he fed the people that was in that village. Wow, so that was more than one or two people. A village is like a small town. Yes. Wow. And this is what I love about the stories that, you know, before, whenever you're making decisions about friends, mm -hmm. right? 
the way you make, the way you choose your friends is by how they treat others. Yeah, it's so important, guys. It's, it, you're at my party because I know how you're gonna treat my other friends. Right. You're not gonna talk behind their back. You're not gonna gossip. You're not gonna be mad if I give them my video game. No. You're not gonna be mad if we're playing Fortnite and you're not playing Fortnite. Right. You know, Elisha didn't have that in him. Oh. Elisha knew what it meant to commit, be loyal, and to serve. Right. To treat others like he wanted to be treated. Right. To just be a good friend and to be just be there. Good friend. Wow. Now the most amazing thing is no cap. No cap. Hmm. The most amazing thing is that Elijah. Hmm, this is what made me like. I was like, yo, this is so dope because here we have a prophet who God is using. Right. Elisha could have easily been jealous because of the miracles that Elijah was doing. I mean, for God's sake, Elijah raised a boy from the dead. Wow. And then Elijah had this one coat. Stashi. With this coat, when Elijah and Elisha got to Jericho, guess what they did with that coat? Tell me what they did with the coat. Elijah took that coat, he put it in the river, and it split into two. So wait, 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 wait. So they traveled different lands together. Yep. And when they traveled the lands, mm -hmm. Elisha fed the village. Mm -hmm. And when he fed the village, did he tell them he was leaving? Did he just go with Elijah? Yep, he just went. He didn't even question. Wow. Because he knew that Elijah was giving him the right, uh, um, how do I say it? Help me here. Uh, let's see. He gave him, he, he showed him the right example of what a real friend looks like. Wow, and you know how I know that he did that? Mm -hmm. Is because uh, since Elijah was a prophet, and he used everything he had by God giving him the power to, mm -hmm. Elisha probably felt like, I'm not even deserving or worthy of this, and he's choosing me too to be his friend. But imagine this though, Elisha did not have to fit in. Right. And I think sometimes kids today, and maybe you could be watching and you're saying to yourself, have you been struggling trying to fit in? Right, trying to just make a friend, so making the wrong choices to try to do what they do or be like them instead of just being yourself because you are enough. Because Elisha could have been very upset. He could have had a bad attitude. Right, stank. He, he could have been, his attitude could have been so stank. I mean, like, ugly. Right. But for some reason, because God chose his friend for Elijah, yeah. and Elijah saw what God had instilled in Elisha, that it made them great companions. And to be companions means to be great friends. Wow. So did Elijah ever try to stop Elisha from coming with him? Because I'm feeling as if Elijah, Elijah knew that this had to be a difficult task to go to these cities and do what God called him to do, because it's not always easy. No, it's not. And, and I think that's why God sent um, Elisha towards Elijah. Okay. Uh, because God knew that Elijah felt alone mm -hmm. and he needed some encouragement. Yeah. Now the interesting thing is Elisha was very determined because he was seeing what Elijah was doing and how God was using him. Yeah. Because three times when Elijah told him that he did not think that he would be able to handle to take the road trips that he was doing from Bethel to Jericho right. to Gilgal. Going through these places, Elijah knew that it would be tough, but Elisha said, listen, wherever you go, that's where I'm gonna go. And as long as I'm alive, I'm gonna continue to be with you. You know, and it's interesting because it's rare that you find friends like that who yeah. are down to earth with you, who's gonna be real with you, who's gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Because Elisha, Elijah already told Elisha that, hey, man, this thing is hard. You know, yeah. I don't think you're gonna be able to handle it. Right. But Elisha because was like- Because a lot was going on in, a lot, in those, those cities. A lot was going All on. All that drama. Listen, hmm. and it says here, I'll read it. It says, one day they left the town of Gilgal, uh -huh. traveling towards Bethel. They knew that their friendship on earth wasn't going to last forever. What? Sometime very soon, oh. God was going to take Elijah to heaven. Elijah told Elisha, 
to stay there while he kept traveling. Now, this is the part where Elisha was very, was very, was insisting on making sure that he goes with Elijah, even though Elijah was like, no, bruh, don't come with me. So he was like, I'm not going to leave my friend. Yep, he says right here, he said, Elijah said to Elisha, stay here. The Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, I won't leave you. And that's just as sure as the Lord and you are alive. So they went down to Bethel. So just as sure as you're alive and the Lord, I'm not leaving He's you. He's not leaving. So that's like you, Mr. Ramsey. That's like you getting in water with sharks. Mm. And y'all know sharks be on some other stuff. Come on. That's like you getting in water with sharks. Right. And I'm sitting on the edge of the boat and I'm looking at you getting in the water with sharks and you're like, hey, sis, hey, Sashi. I don't want you to get in this water with me with these sharks, sharks. because you might get eaten. Right. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> you might get eaten. <laughs> Chew you up. Yep. So don't go and I say to you, look, brother, mm -hmm. if you're going to get in this water, you. and as long as you and God is alive, I'm going to get in this water too, just in case I have to two piece of shark with you. Now come on, fight. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Just like that. Just like that. You know what? That's what's up. I mean, three times. Three when times. When they were in Bethel and in Jericho, three times, Elisha tells Elisha no. And Elisha says, no, I'm going to go with you. As long as I'm alive, as long as we're serving, our, this, our, uh, as long mm -hmm. as we're serving God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go wherever you go. Wow. Now, here's the interesting part. Remember what I was talking about that coat? Yeah! That Elijah had on. And I thought, I was thinking, did it come from Burlington? No, it probably came from Ross. You right. But what's our favorite store? Diddy's! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I know Elijah, <laughs> Elijah shop at Diddy's. Okay! Yes, because oh, he nice found one. a nice coat on clearance. Yeah! You know how we feel about it. Come on. The clearance rack. What? Come on. It's real for us. But it's amazing because this coat, now it says here, it says here that they made it to Jericho. Wouldn't you know it? The exact thing happened again. Elijah told Elisha that God has sent him here. Wow. Somewhere, somewhere else. Where was it? And you know, the interesting thing is they finally arrived at the river. Oh. And this is where the story gets really insane, Stasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says here that here's what happened. Elijah took his coat, he rode it up, then he hit the water with it. After his coat struck the water, part of the water went to the left and part went to the right. He and Elisha were able to walk across on dry land. What? Yes. And after they walked across, Elisha stopped and took the time to encourage Elisha. Now listen, Elisha stopped and took the time to encourage Elisha. Mind me, there was a point in the story where Elisha was encouraging Elijah. Yeah. And now here is, can you imagine Elisha seeing the water split and his mind is just blown like, <gasps> Right. Cause you're looking at water sitting on the side of you that was just one and right. now it's two. Right. And now Elijah's here encouraging Elisha because of the miracle that he just saw. But it's amazing. This is what I love about this story, though. Elijah said that Elisha would receive what he had asked for. As long as he saw Elijah when he was taken away, then something truly incredible happened. And you know what happened what? when they got to the other side? What? What they were talking about along their trips, something happened. What? Where you had chariots with horse, horses and men that came. And guess what happened? What? They took up Elijah. And the only thing that was left behind was his coat. Did, did, um, did Elijah say anything to Elijah, Elisha? Did he, did he say anything to him? Like, um, is there anything I can do for you before I go? Or anything like that? Elijah did say something very important. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm so happy that you came to my block party because before we go to sleep, we always do like stories like this because it's important that we as friends, we continue to encourage each other yeah. to grow. Elisha said, tell me, Elisha, 
what can I do for you before I'm taken away from you? Wow. Like, what can I do for you? And it's amazing that even when you know that your time is coming for whatever great things are coming for you in life, you stop to say, hey, what can I do for you? Even what the person may be going through, Elijah was able to stop and look at Elisha and say, I know we talked about a lot of things on this road trip, going to Miami or going to, you know, but what can I do for you? And this is what Elisha replied to him. Please give me a double share of your spirit. Wow. And what's so bananas mm -hmm. is he truly could have asked for anything. Anything. And he could have asked for another mule, some more oxtails. Fortnite. Fortnite. Candy. Come on. He asked for a double portion of his spirit. Because... Elijah, Elijah's spirit had God's anointing on it. And can you imagine, even when Elijah tried to push him away three times, Elisha got to this place, and because of this place, at the end of this story, Elisha was blessed. Yes. And it's so important to have friends like that because you don't know how long you're gonna have your friends, but whenever you do have great friends, you got to keep them. And value them while they're here. And value them while they're here. Because this Elisha, wow. he really helped me to understand some things. And it's amazing at the end of the story that after Elijah get take, taken up to heaven, it says here, after that happened, Elisha noticed that Elijah's coat was left behind. Elisha picked it up and hurried back to the Jordan River. He did exactly what Elijah had done before. He took the coat and struck the water with it. The water parted. Again? And he was able to walk across on a dry line. Notice, he wasn't nervous this time. Yeah. This time, he was encouraged, because who encouraged him last time? Elijah. <laughs> so See, that's what? what I love about yeah, you, Stassi, yeah. because you always encourage me. I love you too, brother. You always encourage me too. Do you always encourage your friends? Have you ever thought about encouraging your friend. I know, just giving them a word of encouragement, reminding them how great they are, because they are gods. Because. And you know what? Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and give you guys a memory verse mm -hmm. that you can dwell on and read and study and put in your heart. You ready? Mm -hmm. If you're ready, say yeah. Yeah. If you're ready, say oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Repeat after me. A friend loves at all times. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help. They are there to help. When trouble comes. When trouble comes. A friend loves at all times. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help. They are there to help. When trouble comes. When trouble comes. Proverbs. Proverbs. 17. 17. And 17. And 17. Proverbs. Proverbs. 17. 17. And 17. And 17. We love you guys so much. Remember to always follow God. Love people. And, and change, change the city. city. Encourage your friends. Oh, no, that's right, because I'm going to encourage mine. Mm-hmm. Ah. Ouch.